All right, guys, today we're going to go over five knives and briefly talk about them, show them off, and really give you guys some good visuals on these five knives that I almost always get tons of questions about, whether it's people from the YouTube short side of things or whether it's just from long form videos. People love seeing these knives on the channel and I get so many questions about them. So instead of just trying to respond to each individual um, video or comment or, you know, just like every little interaction, um, figure just I'd throw a whole video out here for those people who are mostly curious about these blades. So first off, we are going to start with the probably cream of the crop or the one I get the most questions about. Like this is one that probably was the largest inspiration for doing this video and that is my full custom Gavco nurse. And my subscribers love to call this the Halo knife because of its, you know, like very um, Halo-esque themed colors with the Timascus clip, the purple anodized hardware, um, or I should say purple blue because sometimes this clip, depending on what, how you look at it, looks a little blue, but it definitely is also purple. Um, but you know, just, there's lots of purple on this guy, tons and tons of purple, like these little backspacers um, tons of stuff on here is like purple blue and it is just really really cool really nice but yes this is a full custom Gavco knife and it is a nurse full custom nurse this is technically a hunchback XL and it's a hunchback because this kind of uh, bit right here if you guys can see hopefully there's kind of like a flare right about here and so that flare um, is what gives it the hunchback term and of course it is a nurse because it is designed in the nurse shape which is uh, this kind of Warncliffe-esque, like some of his nurses, and once again, he's he makes these things full custom, so if he calls it a nurse, it basically is a nurse, but this one is a nurse-esque because technically his nurse's proper would be more of a kind of like sheep's foot, whereas this is more of a Warncliffe design. Um, this one has a lot of, uh, if people are familiar with, the stitch from Microtech or uh, technically Borka knives. This has a lot of that kind of theme to it in its tip and blade shape inspiration, very Borka-esque. But um, aside from that, yeah, this guy is really cool. I love it a lot. Of course, this one, like I said, like I get so many people, so many people ask me like, where can I get this knife? And I'm like, this is like a one of one custom. So there really is no getting this knife in particular, unless you got this actual knife. So unfortunately, like it's one of those things where, you know, I can't really tell you where to get one from because they just aren't, don't exist, right? Anyways, it is a super smooth action. Absolutely love the heck out of this thing. It is so cool. And uh, this opening kind of slot here is pretty big. It's not my favorite. That's probably the thing I like the least about it is opening this guy because um, the, like if you try to open it back here, it is very challenging to do but I usually end up putting my middle finger right around this area and just spidey flicking it open. And that seems to work like a charm, seems to work pretty much every time. But yeah, this is a really awesome knife. Really love holding it, using it, and uh, just overall carrying it. So that is the Gavco Knives Full Custom Nurse XL. And I know it sounds funny calling this an XL, but Gavco does typically make pretty small knives like with an overall length of under seven inches and the nurse uh like the knife that this is kind of uh, inspired by is typically like the standard size is under set uh under seven inches. So this guy is, I think, 7.3 inches, which still like an overall length, which still is not terribly like large by any stretch of the imagination, but it is uh yeah, it's an XL. So anyways, that is the Gavco Knives Nurse XL. All right, the next one I get a ton of questions about and another one that kind of inspired this video is my Heretic Knives Manticore X Bounty Hunter. Now the Bounty Hunter is another one of those that sadly, like, so at least you can get uh, Manticore Bounty Hunters. I want to say um, the E-Type is still out there. I want to say I could be wrong. And of course, it's all subjective at the time of watching this video. So if you watch this like 10 years from now, um, probably none of these knives will be available. But um, this guy, for sure, the Manicore X, which is the larger version. Uh, this is more for those familiar with out or with those familiar with OTFs or out the front, uh, this is more combat Trudon sized. So to hold it up against a Microtech Ultratech, the Manticore E is more um, 
Microtech Ultra Tech sized, whereas you can see the Manticore X is at least a half inch bigger and of course has a little bit more width to it. So this is definitely a bigger OTF. So for those, you know, like wanting something like this, this is a definitely a bit bigger, but this guy is sadly sold out. And so I could show you websites where it was once available, but I, I get a lot of questions of people asking, you know, like, where can I buy one of these? I want it so bad. But, you know, unfortunately it's one of those things where you just have to find one um yeah and they're they are more available than of course my like one of one uh, custom custom gavco but like this is not super available either however it is very nice once again i'll give you guys some nice close-ups on it and uh yeah it's just it is a fantastic otf granted it is an otf so there's not too much to say about it but some of my favorite things about this one and what really drew me to this blade of course like many people are well aware the you know star wars uh boba fett theme is very present with this knife so i do really like that it is a huge selling factor for me but I think one of the things that I really enjoyed most about this knife and what kind of uh, led me to choosing this over things like the Combat Trudon from Microtech is that it's non-show side or the clip side on this knife has full carbon fiber. It's a fat camo carbon fiber. And of course it's a camo in the theme of Boba Fett. So it's kind of hard to see. It's, it is, the camera never does this justice, but you know, the um, colors, the yellows, the, the greens, the reds of Boba Fett are all in this um, carbon fiber. So I think it's a really, really unique touch. And I think that of course, like myself being a really big carbon fiber fan, I just love seeing that uh, nice touch of carbon fiber, seeing that like one half of the scale is carbon fiber, one side is carbon fiber is just really cool. And then of course, I love the kind of, uh, you know, already used or, you know, kind of battle worn or apocalyptic theme that this thing has going on. So really great. It's just an awesome knife. I will say it does fire really hard. That is something that I definitely appreciate uh, it fires harder than any of my micro techs ever had but uh yeah it's a great knife definitely like it like i said this is the manticore x bounty hunter version by heretic knives you can still find manticore x's if you do want something like that and they do a number of limited editions the bounty hunter isn't the only limited edition they would ever release um yeah, so that is the next knife I get tons of questions about. All right, next one up, one that I don't get too many questions about, but people love seeing is the uh, XM18 three and a half inch. And this one is definitely, I would say like a real crowd pleaser, not only because I personally love my hinders and I think my fan base does for the most part. Obviously there are definitely some people that are very anti-hinder for a number of grievances, you know, soft steel heat treats and stuff like that. But honestly, I really do love this guy. And like I said, mine in particular running on skiffs is just so, so freaking smooth. It is just a pleasure absolute pleasure to use this thing and to carry it so it is an awesome knife and i think like one of my favorite things about it aside from its smoothness and it's like fidgetability is just i love that blade shape um, one of my favorite blade shapes from hinder is their recurve and unfortunately i feel like the recurve is one that so aside from my other favorite uh tip or blade shape which we won't talk about in this video is um the, the recurve just really isn't that popular like you see a lot of spantos out there you see a lot of buoys you see a lot of other like more typical like the slicer grind and stuff like that and don't get me wrong those are all cool once again i have an xm18 with a spanto on it and that's cool once again i i don't mind it but i just really like having that kind of obscure um Kind of blade shape to it because i think it looks really good and moreover i think that at least this could just be me i think the side profile on the recurve really blends well with like the handle and ergonomics like the handle on especially xm 18s is already very curved so it kind of creates this like flowing curvature to the whole of the blade or the whole of the knife, I should say. So I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe that's just my personal opinion, but I think it looks great and I love, absolutely love this knife and so do many, many of my viewers. And so anyways, that is my Hinder XM18, three and a half inch. Once again, you'll notice yeah, it is purple too. So there's definitely a running theme of purple in my collection, but yeah. So that is the Hinder XM18, three and a half inch. All right, next one up 
is my Spartan Harzy folder. This one gets a lot of questions because it is a Spartan Harzy folder. It just doesn't necessarily look a lot like a Harzy folder because this is a limited edition. And so it definitely looks a little bit more fancy with its, you know, Damascus blade steel and its customized handle. This is a 2021 special edition from uh, Spartan Blades. But yeah, this is just a Spartan Harzy folder. Once again, like pretty much every knife I'm showing you here, you know, it's like, can you go out and get some form or fashion of this? Like you could go get a Manticore X, right? But you probably can't get that specific Manticore X, you know, um, outside of my like strict one-to-one -one custom or one of one customs. Um, you know, like you could probably find some form of a Spartan Blades, Spartan Harzy folder, but this is definitely a limited edition. So I can't really like show you where to get one of these or tell people where to get one. If I could, I definitely would. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely a limited edition, has been discontinued for a number of years, of course, because they only do these, like they do special years, like 2021, 2022 um, Spartan, uh, blades they release like a special version of this knife so very fancy very tricked out i really like mine it is i will say a super super smooth um deployment that is one thing i will give it i think a, a, quite a few people talk about it but you know this blade for it being um not like on bearings or anything it is incredibly smooth so you guys can see here it is very very drop shut esque so very nice very smooth blade and overall just i think like this one obviously like i said is pretty darn fancy but it is still very utilitarian with a nice like drop point like this thing just does scream utility and definitely this is something that bill harsey would design because i have a number of bill harsey designs in the collection both from chris reeve and of course spartan so you know like this is definitely something that he would design maybe not quite with all the flashy like damascus steel and everything but uh yeah this is definitely very utilitarian but nice utilitarian also i think um, one thing I totally forgot to comment on and I'll probably do like a few videos about it But I think what's really cool. Hopefully the camera will pick this up It is super super hard to pick up, but I thought it was really cool that this is Chad Nichols Damascus steel So in here once again, hopefully I cannot see on the viewfinder if you guys can actually see it But there's a little CN in there um, Like right around the midpoint of that tang of steel and so that CN stands for Chad Nichols Damascus so really cool once again don't know if you guys will actually be able to see that but there is like just a little cn uh put in on the steel to denotate that this is like chad nichols damascus so i thought that was pretty cool really tiny touch probably no one else will notice it i barely noticed it myself and i've actually looked at this like back side of this area multiple times and it doesn't necessarily stand out but it's just that nice little touch and i think it's really cool when companies like throw those little touches in on their knives that like you really have to analyze them very deeply for you to actually notice all right, last one up is going to be the TRM Neutron 2. This is one that I think, honestly, I feel like I've talked a lot about TRM and I've done several videos on the brand and on this knife, but I still get, especially in my YouTube shorts, a lot of questions about what is this knife. And so once again, this is a TRM or Three Rivers Machining Manufacturing, something like that, Neutron 2. And uh, there's not too much I can say about it. It's super cool, very thin, probably the thinnest like overall thickness knife in my collection it is just built so compact but yet it works very well and once again too very nice action on this guy it just flies out if you want to flick this thing out it will fly out and uh, of course once again buttery smooth to close it so <clears throat> great action well tuned and uh trm just i think doesn't get enough appreciation but they are a really good company but now really good knives and overall it's definitely a knife worth checking out and this is definitely the most affordable knife that i showed here by far um, some of these knives are you know very very expensive knives so um you know, obviously they're not always within everyone's attainability and it is kind of one of those things where people like look at the halo knife and they're like hey, where can i buy one of those and it's like first off you want to make sure that you have over a thousand dollars because they're full custom so they're going to be very expensive and two yeah they're pretty 
pretty much unattainable. So anyways, this is definitely neither of those. It is neither $1,000 nor unattainable, but the TRM Neutron is one of those really cool blades. And things I like about it outside of the aforementioned thinness and action, I think it's really cool that you can easily swap out the handle slabs on this guy. As you can tell, this one is wearing orange and black. And uh, I do have a few other handle scales for this, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna keep at least the orange side on this for a while because there's also a bit of an orange theme with my um, EDC here. Like I don't have a ton of orange G10 handled knives, but you know, I have a couple. And so it is cool to like, you know, have some that are similar kind of matching if you will. So I I do like that a bit. So anyways, that is the TRM Neutron 2. And that is the last one on the list for um, EDC knives that I get tons and tons of questions about. Um, if you guys continue to ask questions about other knives, I'll probably do another video talking about more knives I get tons of questions about. But those are the ones, at least for now, that people are always like commenting like, great knife, where can I buy it? Or, you know, what is the name of that knife? And so then invariably I have to tell them they probably can't buy it and this is what its name is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.